Welcome everybody to Photography A. A little bit about myself. Um, some of this might have changed uh, depending on when I see you, but um, I came to Park Center in 2016. Um, I did teach seven years before this at Maple Grove Junior High. I do have a BA degree from the University of Minnesota Duluth in art education, and I do have a master's degree in art education from the Twin Cities, University of Twin Cities. I am a mother of two. Eli is currently f six and Nora is four. I have a dog, Rufus, and I love taking photographs. It's something that I continue to enjoy doing. I do create pottery. I love to travel and I love being outside. A little overview of the course. The first week we go through the syllabus uh, we go through the expectations and procedures of the course. You will learn how to install Google Drive on your iPad and phone to upload and download your photographs into your computer. We'll talk about setting up folders and how to save your work, which is really important in here. And you'll also be putting a selfie in Schoology so I can start getting to know your face and your name much quicker. We'll end the week with the Pulitzer video and worksheet to help you understand the power of photographs. Our first unit is focusing on expressing emotions. You'll learn about the four attributes that make up great photography and we'll talk about composition and how that comes into play in photographs. You'll begin researching and brainstorming some ideas to help guide you and inspire you in your own photographs. You'll int be introduced to Photoshop and learn the basic editing software, where things are and, and what you can do with Photoshop. You'll start taking photographs. You'll be editing your photographs, trying to use composition and the attributes of great photography. You'll learn how to create contact sheets and turn your work into Schoology. The second unit is portraits. This is often students' most favorite. We go through the history of portrait photography. We talk about 16 portrait tips that you can use in your photographs. For the portrait unit, you will have an arts journal that you will complete, and that's how you're going to turn all your work in. The first half of the arts journal will be focusing on learning about the SLR digital cameras, how to use portrait lighting, and your brainstorming and researching of ideas, applying the 16 portrait tips, looking up some ideas to inspire your own photographs. In the portrait unit, you'll be working with groups of four. You'll be in our back using our studio lights, our digital cameras. Uh, everyone will have a turn to be a model, a photographer, and a photographer's assistant. You will learn many, many uh, editing tips in the portrait unit. And at the end of the unit, you will complete the second half of your arts journal, which is the final 10 portrait photographs that you've taken, edited, with a reflection and contact sheet of all the photos that you took for the unit. The third unit is our black and white unit, so you'll learn the five tips to black and white photography as well as some guiding questions to help you evaluate the success of your photographs. Again, you'll re research and brainstorm different ideas and inspiration from the web. You'll be taking pictures of five categories for the black and white unit movement, landscape, texture, portraits, and artist inspired. For the black and white unit, you'll create an Adobe Voice presentation, so it's a video portfolio. Um, it works out really well, and most of the time the black and white is a very, very strong unit. And then the last unit is our social justice unit. So we'll study and look at art that has been created for a purpose. We'll do some brainstorming and researching. You will take photographs. Um, and you will learn how to edit them, how to add text. Your social justice piece will be accompanied by an artist statement, and we do put these up in the hallway to, to voice our concerns and our thoughts um, to a broader audience. Finally, you will be asked to participate in different exhibition opportunities. There will be a gallery walk at the end of the trimester where you will put your favorite photograph on display for your peers to view and critique. You will be participating in peer critiques, sharing your work through different social media avenues, and sharing your work with family members and friends. 
The next video will go into the grading and other expectations, so come on back.